All right, so um, some tips for what to do when we have a lame horse and what to know when you call the vet. So when I walk a horse out of a stall, it should be their normal walk. If, we, if they have an obvious favoring of one leg, you're gonna see them try to step on the toe or step on the heel and they'll, they'll limp, basically. So if I have a limping horse and it's not an obvious cut, an open wound, something like that, here's the things I'm gonna check for. The first thing I'm gonna do is just eyeball the legs and I'm gonna look for any signs of swelling let me put one cross tie up. So any place, and just like we looked at in another video with this horse's eye, he has a tiny bit of swelling on his right eye. I'm gonna kind of compare what this lo leg looks like, particularly, here's the cannon bone here. So I'm gonna look down the back of the leg where all the tendons and ligament system runs and I'm gonna kind of look at one leg compared to the other. And that's how it's easiest to spot swelling in the leg. So I'm gonna run my hands down the leg and see if there's any edema, any kind of puffy, swollen, soft, or hot areas all the way down. And if I'm not sure, I'm gonna compare the temperature by feel of one leg to the other, right? I'm gonna do the same thing on the hind legs. I'm gonna run my hands down the hind legs and check for any edema, swelling, and compare visually one leg to the other, right? The other thing I can do is behind the cannon bone on the front legs and the hind legs are all of the major tendons and ligaments. So if I, see if we can get a close up of this, I'll show. Let me step him up sideways a little bit. Step up. I know. Oops. I don't know, can you get that from here? So if, like, if he's weight-bearing on the leg, or let's say, <laughs> I'll do both bear weight bearing and non weight bearing. If he's weight bearing on the leg, I'm going to check for heat and swelling and I'm going to gently pinch all of that soft tissue that's behind this bone. Right? If he picks up the leg like that, I can also hold the leg at the fetlock and sort of gently pinch on all that tendon and ligament that's behind the bone. What he's showing right now is absolutely normal. I can pinch pretty hard and he's zero reaction. He's looking around, he's getting bored, but I have no flinching and he doesn't try to just rip the leg away from me. If they have pain in the suspensory ligament or deep digital flexor or something like that, when you pick up the leg like that and you start pinching that soft tissue, they will rip the leg away from you or they will react. That's a non-reaction, that's how it should be, that's normal. The other thing I'm gonna do is check the digital pulses. I did a video on that as well. If I have a bounding pulse or a clear pulse, then my lameness is, could be in the foot, but the whole leg might be painful. So I'm gonna check for open wounds, I'm gonna check for heat and swelling, I'm gonna check the digital pulses. And anytime I have a lameness issue, especially if it's not an obvious cut, abrasion, accident, something like that, I can find the horse. So I wanna get that horse in a stall or a small paddock or a round pin, and I'm gonna to try to confine the movement because if you have a lameness issue, it could be from a variety of causes, huge variety, but the basic rule of thumb is don't let them walk around on it. That makes it worse. So you wanna get them kind of confined. Um, <laughs> he's losing his patience on the cross ties. <coughs> I could put him in a stall. Hey, hey. I could put him in a stall. I could um, just put him in a small space or I could stand with him and hold him. But I want to confine the movement or restrict the movement until I know more from the vet.
Uh, any other signs of heat, swelling, open wounds, open cuts, we'll address all of that. But if I've got a strong digital pulse and a horse that's non-weight bearing on one hoof, I'm gonna need the vet out. Even if it's an abscess, which can make them look like they have a broken leg, I'll do another video on how to treat it if you think it's an abscess but I'm not gonna give that too much time. If the horse doesn't get better from that within a day or two, and I don't see that abscess open, I could have a much bigger problem. So when in doubt, if they're non-weight bearing or they're kind of hobbling, not using one of the four legs, then it's a good idea to call the vet, check for digital pulses, check for heat and swelling. You can pick up all four legs. Oh, he's turning now, hang on. I might be able to show this from a side view. <laughs> Hang on, that, that's a better shot. So if I support the leg there and I just pinch up and down, I'm pinching pretty hard and I'm getting zero reaction. That's how it should be, right? If he snatches that foot away from me or he kind of flinches and has a reaction, then I could have some swelling stress, which could be either stretching of the tendon and ligament or even a um, d d kind of a, a tear of the tendon or ligament. And that you wanna get your vet on board right away because that could be a serious issue that will affect their ability to be ridden.